So if you can hear me, can you just type yes in the chat box? It will be to your right on your screen. Yeah, thank you, Shrenda. Thank you, Alia Sagar. Thank you so much. Uh, there are some more people in the room. Thank you, Anil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Kishore. How are you? Good to see you here. Wonderful. So, yeah, so we'll start in a few minutes. Uh, we still have about three minutes left. We are expecting some more people. So let them join. And uh, yeah, so if anybody has not written yes, please do so, so that you know exactly how chat works. Yeah, you could just go ahead. So chat is the... Hi, Rishnaji, how are you? Good to see you. All right, so chat is the only way I'll be able to uh, communicate with you. <clears throat> so you'll be seeing the screen here. And uh, if you need to say anything, please uh, write in the chat. Uh, yeah, so that's if you if you face any trouble in the sound or anything, just write that. Hi, Rohit, welcome. <clears throat> Good to see you. Well, yeah. So just a few more minutes. <clears throat> So the situation regarding <clears throat> COVID, interesting. So how are you just, you know, before we start, the rest of the people come, how are you coping up? Is it like a bit uh, anxiety or are you comfortable enjoying yourself? What are you doing? I was like, I was anxious, enjoying time with family, Shalanda. Thank you. That's good. <clears throat> how about others? Is it some anxiety, fear? Relaxed, totally neutral. Yeah, perfect. That's great. Bored. Yeah, I can understand. Okay, you got help from your parents, Kishore. Yeah, that's that's good. Right. <clears throat> I can understand that. Ankita, welcome. So having total family time. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> a lot of people are doing that. So that's good. Yeah. So initially, I was like a bit, you know, <clears throat> rattled on exactly what's going to happen and all that. But after that, I just became comfortable. Just give me a second, please. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Energy. Time to retrospect and introspect. Plenty of time we have in hands. Absolutely. Hi, Sudhakar. Welcome. Good to see you. All right. So we have a lot of people in the room. So <clears throat> for those of you who've just joined, uh, welcome to your webinar. Uh, we still have a minute to start. And uh, so I'll just repeat myself again. Chat is the chat is the way we will. Uh, that's how we will be able to communicate. I would not be seeing you, you would not be seeing me except the screen. So if there's anything that you want to communicate, please write on your chat box. And by the way, uh, is it okay if I communicate um, Hindi and English mix? Or is there somebody who wants me to talk in purely English? Is that kind of situation? Or Hindi? Ankita, perfect, thank you. Mix, English would work, right? Mix will do, Shalinda, thanks. English would work. Thank you, Rajnaji. Right. English. Perfect. All right. Mix is final. So, but yeah. Right. Let's do it that way. So, all right. It's 3.30. Exactly. Uh, so, we can begin. Mix, I got it. Perfect. All right. So, this topic, <laughs> Shalanda. So, this topic, I've been wanting to uh, kind of communicate with you all for quite some time. And due to paucity of time, uh, you know, busy in operations and handling everything, you know, things. Uh, it was not possible for me to collect and get all this research in one place. Now, this has been a, you know, good effect of the lockdown. At least, you know, I had some time and I put all my thoughts together. I prepared some more content also. I will uh, share with you uh, in the future if you like that. So, so chemicals, I, I had a personal, uh, you know, uh, encounter with how chemicals work. A few years back, I did a program where I had the opportunity to actually go into a, it was called a purification program. So I read, go, went through a text, I read a person's research on chemicals, hamare pe, hamari body pe, hamari mind pe, kya impact karte hai. And then, you know, once I uh, finished that program, there was a remarkable change in my viewpoint. So I was, I mean, you know, I, I understood that uh, chemicals ka body pe asar hai. But it could shift a person's viewpoint like I was more, uh, I would say positive. Uh, my observation improved 
and so all kind of interesting i mean one fantastic thing that happened was like my eyesight uh, improved uh, tremendously after that so body ke andar se jo nikla so nikla i mean i was just seeing ke mere view point mein kitna farak hai my attitude towards life was much more positive i was much more into action and uh, on the physical side uh, the the greens appear you know very green uh, green matlab not specifically greens us samay barishon ka mausam tha it was monsoon and uh, this place was in oscars and clave and uh, after doing the program when i would you know uh, come out and take a stroll i cannot tell you how i saw the green so that gave me my personal reality ke jo chemicals hote hain unka asar kya hota hai so all right so uh, we got a lot to cover i will try to finish it uh, within one hour uh, we might extend 10 15 minutes uh, for those of you who have uh, further time commitments and we want to leave uh, i would totally understand that uh, once we finish the webinar you will get a recording and this recording will be available for two days you will be able to again if you miss something or koi sound ya koi aise glitches aa jate hain so don't worry too much you will be able to uh, go through that webinar again and of course i am available always if you have any questions any uh, you know more information you need so i'll i'm there so all right so let's just start now so <clears throat> so quick introduction for people uh, who do not know our brand or don't don't know me personally so my name is satinder chavla i am a founder of i'm the founder of a company called spanflows and spanflows is a leading indian brand in the area of wood floors and facades we have india wide india wide distribution uh, of top international wood flooring and facade brands and our products are sold all across india so the main usp for us is basically the challenge with wood as you can understand is movement and durability lakdi ghum jati hai teedi meedi ho jati hai sometimes we have durability issues like with regards to it rots it gets uh, termite you know all those things can happen so our focus always has been on floors and facades that have a very high tolerance of humidity so like in all products there are different quality levels our focus has been higher end of the market where we think that we need to provide the indian consumer the best the world has so this has gotten us you know in communication with very uh, uh, good companies international manufacturers and we have understood ke unhone lakdi ke sath kaise research karke how have they made it more stable more durable so once we understood that we tied up with them and brought those products to india so that's pretty much about it us uh, now coming to the topic the aim of this webinar is basically to share basic data about some chemicals we are exposed to in our day to day lives and kaise wo indoor air pollution ko count you know uh, contribute karte hain we are all concerned about outdoor air pollution and fortunately uh, as a side effect of uh, covid i mean we've seen you know this clear air uh, in delhi ever so but anyway in the normal circumstance the we are concerned more about the outdoor air pollution but it is indoor air pollution which i'm going to you know be sharing about uh, with you today aur jo building and construction ke jo pro, jo products hain basically how do they contribute to that we be looking more in detail from the plywood and the wood flooring industry since i know this industry best so i will be sharing with you ke kahan iske andar chemicals hote hain so the whole point is not to scare you the point is that we all should make be able to make uh, informed decisions so all is going fine so far could you just say yes so that i know that you're all there yeah thank you thank you thank you so much perfect thanks thanks great so moving on so i want your agreement on one thing so let's look at the our industry when i say our industry i talk about the entire building and construction industry and i include architects interior designers project management consultants you know builders contractors and of course vendors so from my viewpoint from what i have observed jo end users hain jo clients hain hamare उनको ऐसी बिल्डिंग ऐसा घर ऐसा स्पेस चाहिए जो फंक्शनल हो ऑफ कोर्स जो उनकी प्रैक्टिकल जरूरतों को पूरा करे वो सुंदर होना चाहिए इट शुड बी ब्यूटीफुल एस्थेटिक इट शुड बी ड्यूरेबल सो उनको परेशानी नहीं आनी चाहिए लंबी चलनी चाहिए चीजें राइट right? उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशन के हिसाब से इट शुड ऑल्सो बी हेल्दी इट शुड बी सस्टेनेबल वेन आई से सस्टेनेबल आई मीन कि जिस तरीके से हम कंस्ट्रक्शन कर रहे हैं अगर लॉन्ग टर्म में हम कंस्ट्रक्शन वैसे ही करते रहें तो हमारे प्लानट को नुकसान नहीं होगा हम जिस अपने घर को खराब करके कंस्ट्रक्शन नहीं करेंगे ब्रॉडली एंड ऑफ कोर्स द क्लाइंट वांट्स इट टू बी एट द बेस्ट प्राइस एज बेस्ट प्राइस एज पॉसिबल सो डू यू अग्री दैट क्लाइंट्स वांट्स उनको ये चीज चाहिए डू यू अग्री दैट ऑल वी शुड ऑल वर्क टुवर्ड्स दिस ऑल राइट सो एज एन आर्किटेक्ट और एज एन इंटीरियर डिजाइन सो योर गोल बेसिकली टू डिजाइन यू टू प्रोवाइड योर क्लाइंट्स विद डिजाइन दैट हेल्प देम देयर गोल्स will it help you personally 
All right. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments. All right. So as a project management consultant, your job or your goal would be basically to get the above design and intent executed within projected cost and time. All right. As a builder contractor, your aim would be to actually us design intent ko execute karke on the ground reality. Banaya jai. And as a vendor, if I'm a vendor, right? So as a vendor, I want to provide, you know, the entire industry with the materials, jo hamare end users ko uska goal, uska dream achieve karne mein help karenge. So if, if you're able to see, can you see that all of us are aligned towards one single goal? Can you see that? What do you think? Yeah, yes, right. Okay, thank you, Sharji. Thank you, Manish. Right. Right, Ankita, absolutely. Arindam, yeah, Radhika. Perfect. Yeah. So all of our, us are completely aligned on this. Agar hum sare milke as an industry, jo humare end users hai, if we help them create better buildings, quality spaces which are functional, beautiful, durable, healthy, and all that, you know, the entire industry will gain. So that's the whole point. So moving on to the next one. Now let's come to the real world. Well, the, how building economics work. So from my experience of past 25 years in this industry, I have seen that major decisions are basically made on, on basically on uh, money itself. A lot of time you have clients coming in and everybody coming in. Paisa is important. Paisa nahi hai. Aur sasta chahiye. Aur sasta chahiye. Right. Do you think that happens with you also? Right, Maria said, yes, Rohit, yeah, totally got it, all the time, yes, absolutely, Radhika, yes, that I most on Kita, most of the time, Vishali, yes, yeah, so that happens, right, however, we do have to understand that money is a means and not an end in itself, so, paisa kamana hai, paisa kamana hai, hame apne parivar ke liye kamana hai, hame apne liye chahiye, but at the same time, we also have to understand, ke jo hum paisa kama rahe hai, if it does not contribute to the quality of life that we are living, it would not make sense, so let me give you an example. So a person can be in so much fear that even after making bhot sara paisa in life, sometimes you find people are not able to spend. Have you seen that? Despite having a lot of money, sometimes, you know, people are not able to spend. Yeah. Yes, Maria, I can see. Yes, yes. Right, Ankita. Yeah. Yeah. So that happens. So fear sometimes, you know, takes the better of our judgment. And then we are not able to spend. However, we do have to understand that when we are making a house or a building, we want to be ultimately our aim is to achieve happiness in life. And we cannot be happy if we don't have health and we cannot have help. Yeah, Rachnaji, absolutely. They want to spend on things that show totally understood in this society that happens. However, I do feel that as an architect, as a project management consultant, you know, uh, a part of your effort, uh, I'm very sure is still going towards education is about shifting the viewpoints of the clients, giving them confidence, telling them, you know, tail tilo se nikalta hai. You know, you cannot have a situation where you want to save the most amount of money and get the best amount of the, you know, best of the products. It would not be possible. So one has to come to a reasonable uh, situation. I do understand economics are important. I'm not saying that, you know, a person doesn't need to look at his own budget and go out and splurge completely. But I do have, I totally agree with the, what Rachna ji said that, you know, jo cheeze dikhti hai, uske upar admi khashta hai. Sure, a social standing goes up. That's important. I can understand that. I'm nowhere, no one to comment on, you know, kya zaruri hai, kya nahi. And I, I personally believe that, you know, good aesthetics always uh, uplift your, uh, you know, your uh, mental tone, basically, emotional tone also. So that is totally agreed and I totally agree with that fact. But at the same time, it is basically enjoying luxury responsibly that will make a difference. You cannot go and, you know, not look at the effect of the things on the health also. That also is a crucial parameter. Ultimately, your family, people you love, they're going to live there. So now by understanding the role chemicals play in this crucial aspect would help us design a healthier building, avoiding the sick building syndrome. Now, how many people have heard about this term, sick building syndrome? 
Yeah, Kanika, yes. Right. Okay. Mishali says she's not heard. So basically, Kai log bolte hai ki building me, kai buildings me jane se, kai jaga spaces me jane se, they don't feel good and they fall sick. So basically, in the in a very simple sense, this is what uh, a sick building syndrome is, basically. Yeah, when I, you said heard in Honeywell, yeah, totally. So uh, in very simple words, matlab building aisi hai ki jis building me aap gaye, aur aapko achha nahi laga, aap wahan par, you know, you are experiencing some discomfort and it could be because of building chemicals, it could be because of bad design, it could be, it could be because of inadequate lighting and also and so forth. So let's go and move on to the next one. So let's look at our society today. So we we'll live, let's, so I'm going to uh, explain to you what biochemical means. So we live in a chemical oriented society. Every day we are subjected to the intake of food preservatives and other chemicals, including atmospheric pollution and pesticides. As a hota hai, jo hum khana khaa rahe hai, usme preservatives hai, jo hum saans le rahe hai, wo humari uh, polluted air hai, jo hum uh, uh, even jo packed food khaa rahe hai, usme preservatives hai, petrol and all, you know, so you can see ki exposure kitna hai. Additionally, the population is exposed to painkillers, tranquilizers, psychiatric and other medical prescription drugs. Additionally, recreational drugs, street drugs contribute heavily to the scene. Most people are generally not well aware, of, not well aware about them and hence unable to control harmful exposure, right? So you can see that bhoat sara chemical exposure hai hamare ko. Now let's clarify the term biochemical. By bio, we mean simply life and chemical is a chemical substance, a matter, right? So how does a life form interacts with a particular chemical? So we've all gone through elementary chemistry in our uh, schools. So chemistry basically is the, uh, you know, do cheezo ko aapas mein mila do, ya do se zyada cheezo ko aapas mein mila do, tab kya effect aata hai? You know, in relationships, we normally use karte hai terminology, ke yaar, meri uske saath chemistry baut badi hai, ya baut achi nahi hai. So all we are trying to say is that when we two, when we two get together or we, you know, a, a bigger groups get together, do we work or we don't work? Kind of, you know, do we gel along or we don't gel along? Similarly, matter also falls in a, a similar situation. So two different elements of chemical, when they combine or a chemical or a compound or a mixture of chemicals combine, they create different effects, right? So that's basically biochemical. So I've taken this data from a book called Clear Body, Clear Mind, and it has been written, written by Mr. L. Ron Hubbard. If you want, you can uh, go through this book. I can also uh, share a link with you of the website. It's extremely informative and will give you in a very simple way what chemicals are And uh, once you are uh, more aware about this thing, then of course you can uh, control your environment and your situation in a much better way. Any questions so far? All right, no Jamal, right? Anil no, Amit no, Professor. All right, thank you. So I'll proceed. Now let's look at how human body works. All right, human body is composed of certain exact chemicals and chemical compounds. Right, uh, uh, Vishalji, I'll share with you the name of the book at the end. So human body is composed of certain exact chemicals and chemical compounds. In order to remain healthy, the complex chemical processes going on in, within the body must be maintained. So body is a very complex and a very beautiful system that has been made, but it works on a very, very exact system. So when we expose body ko expose karte hai to chemical compounds, which we do not know much about. So we are not sure what kind of result will happen. Like how many people have heard about uh, genetically modified crops or GMOs or genetically modified organisms? Have you heard about them? Great. A lot of people have heard about them. Uh, Vishali ji, so, uh, okay. So a lot of people have heard about it. For those who don't know, genetically modified crop would be just can that a particular plant ke genes ko alter karke aapne uh, lab ke andar usko alter kiya aur fir aapne usko seed bana ke seed bana ke aapne zameen mein usko boya to jo naya plant nikal ke aara hai it has different characteristics than the normal, jo natural jo plant tha. Now, there's a big controversy about this all across the world. And the reason is precisely this, that there have not been enough tests for an, the validation has not been for, you know, enough number of years. What I know, what I have observed, I don't know about you. Uh, tell me if I'm right. If the, you, you have also the same observation, I do see that the incidence of cancer in society has gone up. What do you think? Is that true? 
Do you think so? Right. So when I was a child, I would not hear about it so much. But now it is like pretty common. In fact, you know, some insurance uh, companies have specific policies on cancer now. Now, what has changed? If you if we simply observe, we don't get to need to get into too much uh, complexity about it. So if we simply observe in our environment, what has changed from childhood to now? Yeah. So Vinay is saying that, you know, it is chemicals. We can definitely, when we were small, our parents had more food at home. We were not eating foods which were uh, having a lot of preservative. The green revolution had not happened in India. If you go and look up green revolution, you will find that the pesticides hai, they have increased tremendously. Yes, Prashant, absolutely right. So the use of pesticides has increased tremendously. And the uh, pesticides that are crops, when we come to our house, when we come to the house, when we come to the house, when we come to the house, so we consume this. So it's like you are eating a mosquito repellent or something like every day in our food, right? And then, of course, the pollution outdoors has changed. So over, there has been a lot of new development in terms of science, in terms of chemistry, but uh, unfortunately, we have also not really sure that this extreme chemical exposure is what we are doing So all these changes have occurred. So human body needs nutrient uh, things, substances such as nutrients, air and water, which are vital for above. When I say use the word vital, vital is something which is life giving. So vital means absolutely necessary. So let's look at what chemicals are. So certain chemical substances can cause havoc, blocking or perverting body functions. When I say perverting, I mean they completely reverse the body functions and make the body ill or even killing it. Worse, they have an impact on the mind. How? So exposure to chemicals can reduce power of observation by dulling perception and hence impact decision making. So I shared with you that when I did that program, my perception improved. You know, I could see more good things in life and consequently my attitude changed. I could in the physical universe, I could observe colors much more deeply, deeply. I cannot tell you how the moment of enjoyment, like I, I cannot tell you how much, how good I feel, you know, when I look at the colors and the vibrancy of colors, sometimes the red lights or the brake lights of cars, they appear so bright. I have to kind of shield my eyes. So then I saw that body ke andar ye chemicals jo accumulate ho hai, toh perception ko kaise dal karte. And perception is the thing that me and you need the most to handle problems in life. If we perceive correctly what is happening, we might make bad judgment calls. Now, certain chemicals work by robbing the body of essential vitamins and minerals, which then create deficiency symptoms. I'll give you an example. So I'm quoting again from a book called Clear Body, Clear Mind. It says, alcohol is not a mind altering drug, but it is a bio biochemical altering drug. Alcohol does not do anything to the mind. It does something to the nerves by quickly soaking up all the vitamin B1 in the body. It makes the nerves incapable of functioning properly. Therefore, a person can't coordinate his body. Uh, you must know that jo nerves, hoti hai, nerves are the things that carry all the electrical impulses. Like, you know, you see something, you want to raise your hand. It's your nerve, you know, which is a communication channel between your idea and your body. So it is, it is something which is between you and your body. So if uh, a chemical kind of, you know, alters uh, the, the communication channel, you can understand how it can impact, you know, Chem alcohol ka example, I, I took this one specifically because we all can know the result very quickly. You will immediately know that your coordination is less. But small daily exposure over longer period of time can cause similar kind of effect, not that dramatic, but in a long term, it can be really dramatic also. Any questions so far on this? Yes, Ankita, all this has changed. Totally understood. All right. Perfect. All right. So toxins in abundance. So the toxic word comes from the Greek toxicon. It means basically poison in which arrows were dipped. So you know, they would take an arrow or usko zahar ke wo big hote the, and that's how they would kill others. So life hostile elements in the current environment, atmospheric pollution, painkillers, psychiatric drugs, sedatives, household cleaning products, food preservatives, insecticides, industrial and agriculture chemicals. So uh, giving you an example, ye in our environment. Mein hai. Now, job of the food preservative is to preserve. So we shelf wali items leke aate hai. no doubt they are useful, you know, in certain situations. So, but 
uh, you see they how they work is the bacterial and fungal decay that is supposed to happen you know that doesn't happen because there is a small amount of toxin inside that food that actually uh, due to which the bacteria or the virus would not approach that you see since we are kind of big a big aggregation of cells so hamare ko ekdam se nahi farak padta but you can imagine that small amount of toxin in the longer run will be impacting our cells yes vinay ji absolutely aromatic candles so you can look up perfumes actually and unfortunately lot of perfumes that are available in today you know in all the household cleaners you know or uh, aapke soaps ke andar perfumes you know uh, all these things you find they are actually very cheap petrochemical based stuff so i mean you can do your own research my idea today is just to make you a bit aware about this whole situation so that you can go on and do your own research so i would normally at our home we try to be as perfume possible as much you know or if we want to use something uh, which is perfumed i am really very a bit more careful about that and i go to some uh, organic stuff you know that kind of thing so people who are doing that normally we try to have it as much perfume free as possible let's go to the next one then so what's in indoor air now so there are airborne particles सो हवा के अंदर हमारे पास बाहर की एग्जॉस्ट है जो पोल्यूशन जो आउटडोर पोल्यूशन है वो घरों के अंदर आती है वी हैव कार्बन ब्लैक विच वेन वी गेट यू नो हमारे पास आती है जब लोग चीजें जलाते हैं बाहर डस्ट हमारे पास अंदर आती है धुआं आता है देर आर स्मॉल माइक्रोफाइबर्स इन द एयर ऑल द टाइम प्लांट मैटर है बाल है हेयर वी हैव पॉलन हाउस होल्ड ओडोर एंड गैसेज में हमारे पास वी हैव कुकिंग ओडोज वी हैव पेट स्मेल्स वी गॉट सिगरेट स्मोक वी गॉट केमिकल स्मेल्स we got sink or drain smells so this is what we have in indoor air we have a thing called vocs how many people have heard about this term called volatile organic compounds or vocs have you heard them say yes if you have yeah all right yeah so a lot of time people have heard it or ashilendra you've not heard them yeah all right so volatile organic compounds are basically uh you know liquid which has turned into a gas now and which you can inhale i will go more into detail in the next couple of slides so the paints that we use any glues that we use in the house any varnishes any wood preservatives uh, cleaning supplies jo aapke ghar ke andar aati hain office ki jo equipment hai aapka jo furniture hai they all contain vocs there are more vocs we'll talk about that uh, more in detail so ye aapke andar ki hawa mein hai you have microorganisms such as bacteria mold yeast mites virus yes even car plastic has uh, vocs so that is why they recommend if you look at the instructions in the car ki manual mein aap instructions dekhenge so they normally recommend so ke jab aap apni gaadi kholte hain ya jab aapki gaadi dhoop mein khadi hui hai so us samay aap gaadi mein baithne se pehle ideally you should uh, roll down the windows completely for a few minutes to air your car because the plastic that is inside and the other material there will be inside would have emitted vocs uh यू नो जैसे आपने किसी प्रोडक्ट के अंदर ये केमिकल्स हैं जो प्रोडक्ट्स के अंदर जाते हैं और बहुत लो टेम्परेचर पे ये चेंज हो जाते हैं आई विल टॉक अबाउट दैट मोर नाउ व्हाई डू वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ आर इंडोर एयर विच रिसर्च सेज दैट वी स्पेंड 90 90% ऑफ आवर टाइम इंडोर्स यू नो चाहे हम अपने ऑफिस में हैं चाहे अपने घर में हैं वी आर मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम इंडोर्स एंड देन वी आर इनहेलिंग दिस एयर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम आई हैव सीन द परसेप्शन इज दैट अंदर की हवा बाहर की हवा से बेहतर है हाउ मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट इंडोर एयर इज बेटर so if you think indoor air is better then please type better right 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 exactly all right uh, sometimes eco happens uh, jitendra ji unfortunately i can't do anything about it at this moment but as i said recording will be available all right so let's read this as our homes become increasingly well sealed it may seem like we are shutting pollution out but in truth we are shutting it in whether we are sleeping cooking cleaning or working we now spend 90% of our time indoors breathing potentially dirty air research shows that indoor air can be 2 to 5 or 2 to 10 times more you know polluted than outdoors the only difference is ke andar ki hawa mein hame pollution dikhai nahi deta that's the only difference so this is a this is this comes as a surprise to most people so a few of the chemicals that are found inside offices and schools in homes are formaldehyde decane isopentane limonene styrene xylene chloride toluene vinyl chloride you know some of the names are so difficult to it's difficult to pronounce but then 
a lot of stuff is there which is not visible to us but as i said explained to you uh, earlier it is interacting with us it's a biochemical interaction okay so jitender here says no sound uh, can you can you hear me is there anybody else who's having some trouble with the sound all right so you can reconnect if uh, there is a problem with the sound you can just go and reconnect yourself just a minute thank you for your acknowledgments all right so let we come to volatile organic compounds now what exactly are vocs so vocs are volatile organic compounds now let's un understand the word volatile volatile means jo cheez stable nahi hai easily state change kar leti hai let's take an example of petrol so petrol agar aap bahar chhod dete hain ya mitti ka tel hai aapka usko aap bahar chhod dete hain you don't cover it what happens it changes into gas quickly right so yeah so that's volatile like from a liquid state of the matter it turns to gas gaseous state quickly right so it has a very low boiling point you know so pani ka boiling point point is 100 degrees celsius but vocs generally have a boiling point of about 19 degrees celsius so 19 degree pe they start to change you know state so for example if a product contains a lot of vocs it might happen ki aapne usko andar laga rakha hai और वो प्रोडक्ट विदाउट योर नोइंग इट विल स्टार्ट टू एमिट बाय एमिशन आई मीन उससे बाहर निकलना शुरू हो सकता है इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ गैस नॉट ऑल वीओसीज स्मेल डिफरेंटली सो सम यू विल बी एबल टू स्मेल दे हैव अ फाउल स्मेल एंड सम यू यू नो यू वुड नॉट बी समटाइम्स यू मस्ट हैव कम अक्रॉस प्लाईवुड जैसे नया नया वुडवर्क हो रहा होता है या पेंट हो रहा होता है घरों के अंदर न्यू कार स्मेल यू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स तो यू सडनली यू गोइंग टू दीज एनवायरमेंट्स एंड सडनली यू हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्मेल how many people have observed this kind of smell please say yes if you have yeah yeah so a lot of people have done that almost every day yeah so ankita we are on uh, the sites every day we are being in the industry we are on the sites and unfortunately jis time pe hum site pe hain us time maximum emission ho raha hota hai so this is from the building and construction view industry view point this is a thing of concern that we should all be aware of so VOCs are volatile organic compounds. By organic, it means that are made of carbon or uh, petroleum related. Hai. Compounds mean like two things are made together, two or more times more, right? So these are those kind of chemicals that are gas like that, which are made from thousands of different types of products, and as well as natural products. So natural, when I say natural products, like pine tree, that you have seen the smell, you will hear it, you will hear the smell of pines. सिट्रस की स्मेल होगी संतरा वगैरह जैसे होते हैं एंड फ्रेशली कट ग्रास राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो बेसिकली अ काइंड ऑफ वीओसीज हाव एवर नॉट ऑल वीओसीज आर बैड सो वट वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट इज वी वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज आर अवेयरनेस अबाउट विच वीओसीज आर नॉट गुड फॉर अस एंड देन वाइल देन वी कैन यू नो चूज बेटर बेसिकली सो वीओसीज कहाँ मिलते हैं हाउस होल्ड क्लीनर्स में मिलते हैं कॉस्मेटिक्स में मिलते हैं सो आई एम वेरी श्योर द लेडीज हेयर और इवन द जेंट्स वुड नो द स्मेल Uh, from nail polish right or the nail polish remover have you noticed that yeah so it is sharp right exactly so that's basically a voc right so household cleaners cosmetics new furnishings bahut sari furnishing aaj ki date mein plastic based hai the yarn is plastic the source then you have varnishes like a paint polish ka kaam karate hain right so just to name a few all release vocs which is also called off gassing you know so gas nikal rahi hai bahar while not all vocs are bad some have short and or long term health impacts according to the us environmental protection agency health effects can include first eye nose and throat irritation right headaches loss of coordination and nausea in the extreme case of exposures you could have damage to liver kidney and central nervous system some of the vocs <coughs> these i would not say ke gharon ke andar aisi koi situation aari hogi but uh, you, we can imagine that you know there will be certain chemicals jab in chemicals ki production ho rahi hai to factories ke andar chemicals jo uh, kaam karne wale log hain they can be exposed much more than me and you 
so in lab tests and the laboratory you know cancer has been seen in animals and some are suspected or known to cause cancer in human also that has been there so people have concerns about and people ideally would want to have as much as benign chemicals or normal uh, materials we do not kind of off gas or thing in their homes so the epa epa is the environmental protection agency epa has also found that some of the most common vocs are typically 2 to 5 times and sometimes 10 times higher inside homes than outside jitni bhi vehicle exhaust hai aapki it contains vocs it contains formaldehyde you know emissions formaldehyde is a kind of a voc basically to jo research se pata chala ke andar 2 se 5 guna ya 2 sab aur kai bari 10 guna tak bhi vocs ki concentration andar zyada hai as compared to bahar so regardless of whether they are located in a countryside aap jab you know aapne farm house hai it is like quite uh, pollution free from the city away from the city and still you will find ke andar pollution zyada hai ya fir agar aap kahin ek highly industrial urban neighborhood mein hai for example we are living in delhi or we are living in gurgaon ncr or any other uh, cities across india we will still find ke bahar se andar zyada vocs hai now this research is basically based in usa indian research uh, agencies are also working on this now we do have some data i have taken it from here simply because the data is older they have more experience you could do your own research on this one so coming to building and construction materials where do we find chemicals so there is a thing called lead it is found in roofing materials paints and plumbing pipes lead has been banned in many countries i do not know the specific situation about in india but i would want to know next time i'm using a paint or anything i would just want to know a little bit more about uh, what is going on inside from my practical experience not many uh, sales people uh, do not know about uh, yes komal lead and all you know these these things are coming up uh, geha you know all these things are focusing on this so very good excellent so now lead basically Uh, so if i go out to uh, purchase a paint or something slightly you know it'll be good if i start to pay a little bit more attention on uh, you know the ingredients lead as i per my knowledge is uh, uh, banned uh, when i understand but purani jo construction abhi bhi ho rakhi hai usa ke andar kya hai ki aap jab aap ek particular year se pehle if i'm not wrong they, uh, it's maybe in the year 1960 i'm not sure about this uh, but uh, अगर आप उससे पहले की किसी बिल्डिंग को आप रेनोवेट कर रहे हैं तोड़ के लगा रहे हैं देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक प्रोसेस दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो देर आर स्पेसिफिक पीपल हु आर ट्रेन इन दिस सो दैट द पब्लिक इज नॉट अननेसेसरी एक्सपोज टू दिस यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट एसबेस्टोज एंड ऑल सो पुरानी कंस्ट्रक्शन के अंदर अभी भी ये सामान है एंड देन फॉर ईयर्स देव बिन काइंड ऑफ इमिटिंग द स्टफ देन द नेक्स्ट वेरी कॉमन थिंग इज पी व्हिच इज पॉलीविनाइल क्लोराइड इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ प्लास्टिक सो वाइनल फ्लोरिंग stone plastic composite flooring spc this is a new kind of flooring which is coming in there is less pvc but nonetheless there is some uh wpc is getting very popular uh, as a board uh, it is people are preferring it against mdf or uh, you know plywood because aapko unko termites ka issue hote hain so but it is still a wood plastic composite so you are kind of foregoing one advantage on one side but taking on another disadvantage on the other side so i can understand a consumer and you know we all can feel ke you know we am phas gaye har jagah ye hai har jagah wo hai but i am telling you that there are better ways to do it it is a matter of research speaking to a few people and you will find solutions there so wpc boards wallpapers carpet backing upholstery textiles waterproofing membranes water and sewerage pipes insulation for electrical cables gutters doors and window frames upvc it's like getting very popular roof membranes and molding so these things contain chemicals then we have mercury cfls mein bahut sara mercury tha but fortunately abhi cfl se we have gone to uh, leds which is a good change then we have flame retardants basically specifically halogenated so aapko insulation mein milega pu foam mein milega carpet cushion mein milega taron mein milega aapki cable mein milega then there are uh, perfluorinated compounds to jitne bhi aapki stain repellent finishes hain carpets ke upar you know they advise ke aap stain repellents kariye और टेक्सटाइल्स के ऊपर आप करते हैं सो देन यू हैव टू बी जस्ट अ बिट मोर विजिलेंट कि कौन सा आप ब्रांड ले रहे हैं एंड हाउ हैव दे मेड देयर स्टेन रिपेलेंट फिनिशेस व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इनसाइड देम वन ऑफ द वेज टू मेक प्रोडक्ट्स चीपर इज बाय यूजिंग चीपर केमिकल्स दैट इज वन वे सो एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स सो बहुत सारी जगह अब आपको आजकल ये नैनो सिल्वर और ट्रैक्लोजैन मिलेगा पेंट्स के अंदर जहाँ कहा जाता है कि हमारे के ऊपर माइक्रोब्स सर्वाइव नहीं करेंगे पर्टिकुलरली इन द करंट सिचुएशन यू विल बी ऑफर्ड दीज प्रोडक्ट्स Uh, because there is a lot of scare about viruses uh, by the way uh, 
uh, you should know that viruses and bacteria is uh, all around us all the time. I'm very sure you are aware about this. However, in the situation when we have low, uh, 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 you call this uh, uh, immunity, when our immunity goes down, that is the time some of these guys can, you know, uh, cause us trouble. Not so there have been uh, good bacteria, and I really did some research on finding uh, good viruses. It seems there are good viruses also. I'm not very conclusive on that for the bacteria. I'm pretty sure we have all heard the term probiotics and antibiotic. Antibiotic is something which is against bacteria. Uh, however, when we take antibiotics, it kills all the bacteria in our body, which also means that aapka acha bacteria bhi chala jata hai. and good bacteria is essential for gut health, good gut health. Pet ke liye. So then doctors recommend or people now recommend eating probiotics. Pro is simply which is which helps the good bacteria survive better so that a body can you know function better. So so antimicrobials bhi jo hai, uh, you will find them in paints, tiles and grouts, carpets, solid surfaces, faucets, toilet seats, and more. So I mean, all in all, I mean we do have them around us. Now the question now coming to solutions and I'm as I shared with you that I'll take examples from my industry because I simply have, I know it uh, more in detail. So I'll just take example from all the three product categories in flooring, which is laminate floor, engineered wood floors and solid wood floors. Let's look at where they are. So this is a cross section of the structure of a laminate floor. It simply contains four layers. The first is an overlay for abrasion resistant resistance. Second is the decor paper. So the first layer is Okay, कहते हैं आपके laminate floor को किसने से बचाती है जो second layer is basically what you see जो आपको design दिखता है जो आपको लकड़ी दिखती है तीसरा उसका center है core है ये लकड़ी के बुराने से बनता है I'll show you uh, in the next slide and last layer is basically stability देने के लिए ताकि जो आपका plank है वो टेड़ा मिड़ा ना हो it's a pretty simple construction now where does the chemical come in so जो beach का core है वो लकड़ी के बुराने से बनता है so it could be a waste sawdust or it could be actually take, taking wood and you know making into wood chips uh, fiber board banane ke liye fiber board sirf lakdi ke burade ka board hai jisko compress kiya jata hai so is lakdi ke burade ko aap glue ke sath mix karte hain aur usko fir bahut dabaya jata hai taki uski density badh jaye to medium density board ke andar kam burada hai uski density kam hai high density board mein usme burada zyada hai and it consequently it can take in more knocks so jab flooring pe lagate hain to one of the considerations is basically ki koi cheez farsh pe gir jaye to farsh should be strong enough your floor should be strong enough to handle it so hence the use of high density fiber board ki jab koi cheez gire to easily floor damage now now when we use this resin jo adhesive hum dalte hain to adhesives ke andar there is a voc called formaldehyde theek hai agar bahut zyada adhesive iske andar uh, uh, formaldehyde hai to ye aapko health problems de sakta hai now as i said uh, the cost of the chemicals is important the cost of the chemicals is important it so if i want to reduce the cost if i want to compete in the market better so you know i can take this way ke kon educate kare market ko let's just simply do it nobody cares if you have that kind of attitude you could reduce the cost so personally in my observation over the years the factories that i have visited in europe and in china what i have seen is that the quality control in european top european brands uh, is much higher you know the regulation is much more strict uh, the penalty on non compliance is higher and per se the the income level of the society is higher so they are able to afford better quality products but i have also seen an influx of materials coming in from local factories from southeast asia flooding these markets as well so kon nahi chahta ki mere ko same cheez kam mein mil jaye so the challenge is what i saw was that when i went to these factories in china i would see their quality control rooms but they were rarely busy i could not see a clear indicator that they were functional they were issuing certificates and that is the cause that causes trouble so certificate de rahe hain aapko ki koi formaldehyde nahi hai koi voc nahi hai all that stuff is there right however how do i really trust that certificate you know india ke andar if i get a certificate from tata i have a better chance you know i can trust that certificate more as compared to a small time manufacturer i'm not saying that all small time manufacturers uh, would cheat or lie that is not true i'm simply saying that it is possible the chance of that happening is more there so so in this case when you are buying laminate floor you want to be really sure that the product meets the criteria 
and you buy it from a reputable any reputed brand let's go to the next one so prashant asks first layer is of glass or some other material it's basically aluminum oxide uh, when i finish i could share you uh, with you a link and that it can tell you it's a transparent layer the function is simple jo uska kaam hai wo basically simply ye hai ki jab aap floor pe chale तो आपका पाव नीचे उसके जो पेपर है उस ट्रांसपेरेंट लेयर के नीचे पेपर है उस पर ना लगे उसको ना खराब करे इट इज बेसिकली रेजिस्टिंग दी एब्रेशन जो आपके पाव के नीचे मिट्टी है उससे ये चीज घिसे नहीं राइट फॉर्मेल्टीवाइड सो इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ वीओसी सो फॉर्मेल्टीवाइड इज क्लासिफाइड एज अमन कार्सिनोजेन कार्सिनोजेन मीन लाइक यू कैन कॉजिंग कैंसर इट्स नॉट कि आपने थोड़ा सा फॉर्मेल्टीवाइड सूंगा एंड देन पीपल गेट कैंसर इट डजन एपन दैट वे so it says short term exposure to formaldehyde can be fatal when they say fatal it means like a lot of formaldehyde long term exposure to low levels of formaldehyde may cause respiratory difficulty eczema and sensitization a person can become more sensitive so this is low levels on a very long term so there are uh, more references if you want to research about this on the internet you can but broadly i want to give you a simple uh, idea that formaldehyde in uh, large quantities or over a longer period of time is not good so you, re you really want to uh, buy those products which have less volatile uh, organic compounds emissions formaldehyde is just one of them so this is a parameter which you could you know look at and uh, just ascertain that jo aap cheez le rahe hain it falls within the parameters so coming to engineered flooring once again engineered flooring is made up by pressing multiple layers of wood in a manner that reducing the warping or the movement of wood the reason the wood is it is called engineered ya isko engineer kiya gaya hai it's been engineered for stability to lakdi jab hum solid wood jab lagate the to bahut zyada expand karti hai contract karti hai warp ho sakti hai pani ke sath zyada so movement hoti thi wo problems na ho to somebody came out with this excellent solution ki agar isko is tarike se banaya jaye to movement bhi kam ho jati hai and yet you can enjoy a real wood floor however an engineered floor as you can see is made up of multiple layers now let's look at these are there two kind of constructions in the market you will see today the top one is basically at the bottom you see plywood it's a lot of layers of plywood and on the top you see a thick layer of wood while in the bottom you have a three layered construction so top pe aapki lakdi ki layer hai beech mein bhi ek solid wood ki layer hai aur teesri niche ek solid wood ki layer hai teenon ki thicknesses farak hai so this is a three layered construction this is called a multi layered construction सिंपली बिकॉज नीचे प्लाईवुड है और प्लाईवुड में मल्टीपल लेयर्स होती है और टॉप पे ये दूसरी जो है लेयर है लकड़ी की नाउ इन बोथ दीज कंस्ट्रक्शन देर इज अ डिफरेंस विच आई विल शेयर विद यू वट एग्जैक्टली अ थ्री लेयर्ड इंजीनियर फ्लोरिंग यूज इज लेस एडिजिव सो गोइंग बैक टू द लास्ट लाइट इसमें सिर्फ तीन लेयर्स हमारे को आपस में जोड़नी है सो फर्स्ट लेयर को सेकेंड के साथ जोड़ेंगे दैट्स वेयर वी नीड द एडिजिव and the bottom layer has to be fixed with the middle layer that's where we need the adhesive so the quantity of adhesive used here is less as compared to the plywood on top if you see plywood plywood itself is multiple layers of wood so plywood ke andar hame bahut sari glue multiple layers ko jodne ke liye bahut sari glue ka istemal karna padta hai aur jo top layer hai usko dobara se plywood ko jodne ke liye glue ka istemal karna padta hai so three layer engineered flooring uses less adhesives to manufacture as only two layers are to be pressed together while two layer engineered flooring uses much more adhesive the reason is that the name is a misnomer i mean two layers nahi hai isme name naam se aapko lagega sirf two layers hai to jaisa maine aapko bataya these are multiple layers because plywood is itself multiple layers so uh, wood coatings jo top pe hoti hain uske andar bhi vocs hote hain iske andar jo water based coatings hoti hain वो जनरली बेटर होती हैं जो पुरानी सॉल्वेंट बेस कोटिंग सी उनके कंपैरिजन में देन जब रीफिन अगर आप रिफिनिश कराते हैं वुड फ्लोर्स को अपने घर पे जैसे आप खिड़की दरवाजे पॉलिश कराते हैं सो उस समय भी आप जो घर में जो वीओसीज का एक्सपोजर है आपका घर में बढ़ सकता है देन जो आजकल वुड फ्लोर्स आते हैं जिसमें नेचुरल ऑयल की कोटिंग्स है सो दीज कोटिंग नेचुरल ऑयल कोटिंग्स हैव अ बेटर इम्पैक्ट ऑन इंडोर एयर but i mean i cannot say that uh, you know as a blank uh, judgment however natural oil does has much less emission as compared to a synthetic resin which is basically jo aapke lacquers ya uh, polyurethane ya jisko aap uh, uh, yeah these are the products that you use aap polish wagera ke liye aap use karte ho so you could basically uh, your vendor will be able to guide you much better on this 
the idea is that you should look deeply into technical data sheets and just discuss simply acha kis mein kya hai so that you can make the profile while you specific uh, specifying the products for your house or the building you can overall have a judgment ke kis mein zyada hai kis mein kam hai kahin pe zyada ho raha hai to kahin pe kam kar lete hain so with this you will be able to form a judgment and arrive at a balance so all going well so far any questions right thank you kanika yeah i will share that information with you all good all right right thank you so quickly going through uh, the plywood so again if you look at the cross structure these are multiple plies and all plies need to be stuck together with each all veneers need to be stuck together using a lot of glue and in glue you will find vocs that can happen so if you are going to use plywood go to a good brand ask them for the lowest uh, emitting plywood from my research in the market such products are available now i'm going to clarify some myths uh, very very quickly so one of the biggest myths is people say that you know building healthy is more expensive so this is the biggest myth because we have to define expensive you know expensive is a relative term so we have to ask the question more expensive than what so cost in terms of sickness lost productivity effects on mental well being are often disregarded so of course i understand you know you are going for a better product it might cost you slightly more well uh, an intelligent planning could kind of you know uh, balance the whole budget out that can happen but uh, you must ask these questions ki iska andar wali hawa pe kya asar hai main ghar eventually kiske liye bana raha hu mere ko khud rehna hai is ghar ke andar my family is going to live is it worth compromising so uh, and then is it better to you know pay in terms of health care cost in the long run as compared to paying initially up front so these are the arguments that are there i do totally understand that sometimes clients with will relate with it sometimes they won't it is totally up to them our job is to make them aware and then you know uh, of course the suggestions are there to try to get them to uh, choose better but ultimately it is their call so green buildings today you know jo norms hain aapke green buildings ke now they are not only talking specifically about sustainability for example ye materials ka uh, hamari environment pe kya asar hai kitna carbon ki addition hui environment mein for example aapne koi product banaya usko banane ke andar kitna aapne natural coal ya electricity ka istemal kiya jisse uh, hamara koila jala us koile se kitna carbon carbon dioxide hamari atmosphere mein gaya that is one way to measure ke the impact of the product on the environment so but now more and more regulations are insisting ke aap jo product laga rahe hain uske andar ki hawa pe kya asar hai andar ke jo occupants hai building ke unki well being pe kya asar hai so now building healthy from that view point i would say one has to agar real cost dekhni hai to in sab ko parameters ko leke long term impact health pe dekha jaye and then the cost of uh, healthcare and all those uh, you know regulatory uh, issues that might crop up one has to see that myth versus fact two so sometimes people give this argument ke jo chemicals ka impact hai human beings pe wo proven nahi hai ya inconclusive hai ya even hype kiya hua hai this is totally incorrect it is well documented and research go to the website uh, clearbodyclearmind.org you will understand <coughs> now i will just simply ask you a question why do you suddenly feel better when you go to an environmentally clean place jaise aap forest pe jate hain mountains pe jate hain you go to a beach which is clean do you not immediately feel better does that happen right so yeah so the website is clearbodyclearmind.org so so you immediately perceive the impact you don't need somebody to tell you whether you know this environment is good or bad i mean i can give you a 10 different test sheets or case studies and all that but you know right now it is also a known fact that drugs and toxins inside a body burn up vitamins and minerals you can check this up any good study on vitamins will tell you this this creates deficiencies in body and further this leads to a lower uh, immune system which further leads to you know all kind of uh, you know trouble with our you know all the sickness and all you can understand that now again i'm quoting from this book this is very good research so i have quote from here again and again again and again prolonged illness is guaranteed when deficiencies remain present and unremedied so for example somebody drinks too much alcohol so now we know that alcohol drinks uh, or you know burns up b1 vitamin b1 so one could take vitamin b1 as an antidote 
यू नो बॉडी के पास नहीं है तो इमीजिएटली आप बॉडी को दो वाइटामिन बी वन यू वुड सी द इम्पैक्ट राइट वे देन देर इज अनदर इशू दैट कम्स अप विच इज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लॉट ऑफ टाइम मैन्युफैक्चर दमसेल्स आर द गाइज हुआ डूइंग ऑल दी स्टडीज एंड पब्लिशिंग दी स्टडीज के कोई फर्क नहीं है जी केमिकल्स का आई सॉ वन यू नो आमिर खान का देर यूज टू बी अ प्रोग्राम आई डोंट रिमेंबर दैट नेम सत्यमेव जाते देर आमिर खान Uh, called up both sides you know somebody uh, it was on pesticides basically so they called up the india's biggest manufacturer of pesticides and on the other side there were doctors and there were uh, uh, farmers and uh, you know uh, public in general who were sharing their experiences so you could i mean if you google that up you can easily find that reference it should be on youtube you can watch it but i mean if you know aap manufacturer khud hi study kar raha hai so then what do you think will happen there will there could be a bias that can crop up inside so you have to observe it directly yourself next another myth is that chemicals do not last long in the body so uh, sometimes this uh, is given that yeah they will market better totally so kai bar ye argument di jati hai ki aapne koi bhi chemical khaya ye nikal jata hai you know by the body's uh, process of elimination of excreta jo excretion system hai hamare urination sweat and you know stool inse nikal jata hai this is not true the toxic substances we encounter every day can lodge themselves inside the fatty body tissue and elsewhere and stay there years causing trouble so you know you cannot even imagine when your body will be free of all these chemicals once you have to actually get it get rid of it body se bahar flush karne padenge to actually experience it first hand ke aapke view point pe aapke sochne ke tarike pe aur aapke body ko jaise aap feel karte ho us pe exactly kya farak hai this is something which has to be you know experienced to be believed now so i have given you lot of uh, news about chemical ye wo let's come to the solution part now so somebody said that an ounce of prevention is worth a ton of cure i totally believe in this so let's work on prevention so solutions are abound board of solutions hai bahut sare solutions hai sure i mean uh, sapna you will have uh, the link to this webinar once we the webinar is finished you will have the entire recording with you which will be there with you for two days you can just see it watch it again okay so the solution the first solution is you use low voc products where possible look at material safety data sheets they are called sds which is safety data sheets or msds which is material safety data sheet or tds technical data sheets in these data sheets basically you will find information you might find information which is like you know complex chemical names i will tell you a way how to clear that up taki aap usko simply samajh sake most quality manufacturer will be publishing these along with third party certifications so log kya karte hain for example if you have a manufacturer so i am a manufacturer i will publish ke mere product ke andar aisa aisa hai this is a technical data sheet or a safety data sheets go through this you will know exactly iske andar kya hai kis cheez ka aapko dhyan rakhna hai kis cheez ka nahi once a manufacturer publishes this from their view point you know the 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 responsibility passes on to you it is very similar to jab aap gaadi khareedte hain you are given a this thick booklet in this booklet if you ever open this up you will find all kind of you know cautions aisa kijiye aisa na kijiye aisa karne se engine seize ho sakta hai aisa karne se accident ho sakta hai blah 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 everything seat belt nahi banenge to aisa ho sakta hai oil agar us tarah aapne change nahi kiya to ye ho sakta hai brake pads aapne aisa nahi kiya to change ho sakta hai by law now the responsibility is on the user there is another thing called buyer beware this is parlance it is a thing which uses uh, which is commonly used in law which says that buyer can simply cannot come and simply claim ke mujhe bataya nahi there is a thing called ke buyer ki bhi responsibility hai ke cheezon ko puche aur apni due diligence ya responsibility ko samjhe so i hope i am making myself clear on this part this is completely uh, critical and you know so during the time of specification if you are buying any product it does make sense to ask a few questions at that uh, time manufacturer can always say ke maine bata diya tha my responsibility is over now so once you know this uh uh you know what you do is you there are third party certifications when i say third party certification so main manufacturer hu maine publish kar diya i could go to an ex company and tell them they are a testing company i could tell them that sir mera aap ye product hai ye main sample aapko bhej raha hu isko please test kijiye this is what i have used ye meri taraf se declaration hai aapne mujhe batana hai ki ye product jo hai aapne certify karna hai ye declaration ke hisab se hai ya nahi so these brand these uh, sim, these uh, third party certification companies they then charge money to the manufacturer from the manufacturer 
to actually research and publish. If you look at their uh, published uh, certification, it always 100% says that this certification is on the base of the sample. Ke base pe main of course, they are right from their part because they cannot control what I as a manufacturer am going to do later. So, whatever I have sample diya, so that the sample is, that is what the that is what the certification is. And the hope for all of us is that, you know, we are looking at, okay, okay, people are good, most people are generally good, and good brands would not do such a thing. However, there have been cases where this has proven to be wrong. A case in point has been uh, Volkswagen a few years back, where it was, it came out that the, they were claiming that our vehicles are not polluted, but there was some tweaking that was done. And, uh, you know, that happened. So, uh, how many people are aware about that Volkswagen Audi uh, situation that happened a uh, few years back? Now, this is an international situation. Audi is a very big brand. We all know that Volkswagen. So, that happened a few years back. So Audi made a false declaration. So, anyway, the point is basically that you have to rely on what is published and also your own sense when you deal with people. You cannot do away with that. You have to have to see if he, Adni, you know, in the longer term, how has he proven to be with you? Right, so there is no, uh, unfortunately, abuse ka koi shortcut nahi hai. People can lie at times. So now these certifications are like Green Guard, Green Seal. This is an ISO 16,000 uh, set which takes care of indoor air quality. It says A plus or A or B or C. All these guys publish ke A plus ka kya matlab hai, A ka matlab kya hai, B ka matlab kya hai. Green Guard, if you see this one, it says gold over here. So Green Guard gold kya hai, Green Guard normal kya hai, Green Guard platinum kya hai. So, हर एक की अपनी अपनी specifications हैं कि कब green guard gold बोलेंगे कब क्या बोलेंगे. So, this is a matter of a bit of a work from your side and ideally your vendor should know this. They should be able to tell you in a very simple way or get you the uh, required information with the required uh, third party proofs कि जो वो कह रहे हैं वो ठीक कह रहे हैं. There is a certification called CARB which is basically California Air Resource Board. This is basically a government agency based in California. In US also, the standards are very bifurcated in the sense her state ka apna alag alag hai, but CARB is known to be the most stringent one. Then there is a standard for in Europe, it is called E1. So E1 means emission, emission one. So basically off-gassing kitni ho hai products se. So if the off-gassing is happening between a certain limit, they will call it, you know, within E1. So now there is another challenge here. Uh, so for example, if I have a product and I claim it to be E1 and my you know, X, another person has the same product, he also claims it to be E1. So, just to understand, E1 could be uh, below 100. I'm just giving an example, 100 is not a figure. So, even the standard could say that even hai, to below 100 hai, agar below 100 se hai, to aap isko even claim kar sakte. So, now, you know, it could happen that maine usko 90 kiya hua hai, but mere competitor ne usko, uh, sorry, 50 kiya hua hai. Both of us are now allowed to say even. So, that's another, it, is, it adds another layer of you know, complexity to the whole situation. But once again, jab even baat kar rahe hai, to aap puchhi, achha, isme hai kitna. Kitna VOC hai, kitna nikal raha hai. It is a very simply understandable term. Now, <clears throat> even is a standard which is still recognized in Europe. Germany, this year, at the start of January 1st to 2020, they reduced their own standard by, slashed it by 50%. So, pehle bol rahe te, agar even mein, Jo product hai, wo tak, usme tak ho sakti hai. So Germany said, okay, now we are improving the quality even further. We want to reduce the indoor pollution even more. So now the new norm says 50%. So it could be that jo aapke norms hai, even could be different, German could be different, carb could be different. So it does require a little bit of work, unfortunately. Uh, but as said again, I'll just speak to your vendor and he should be able to help you. So now I'm going to share with you some tips just say up indoor air ko immediately improve kar sakte first is use of vacuum cleaners while you are cleaning it does two things vacuum clean really takes particles out so aapki andar ka jo airborne particles hain wo kam ho jate right agar hum as compared to jo india ke andar normal practice hai jhadu lagane ki you can imagine ke kisi ne jhadu lagaya aur kuch mitti hawa mein udi to jab wo udi kuch der baad wo wapas aake settle ho jayegi and till the time it is still in the air you, me and you will inhale it Right. Then it has uh, cleaning by vacuum actually has other benefits also, particularly if you talk about the case of wood flooring. Most architects, designers and users like flooring with an open grain. However, if we put a grain on the ground and it settles in the grain 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 and it settles in
मिट्टी जो है वो दोबारा से ग्रेन के अंदर जाके सेटल हो जाती है सो इट काइंड ऑफ कलेक्ट डर्ट ओवर देयर ज्वाइंट्स के अंदर हो जाती है सो वैक्यूम क्लीनर वट इट डज इट इट एक्चुअली टेक्स आउट ऑल द डर्ट नॉट ऑल द डर्ट बट क्वाइट लॉट ऑफ इट ताकि जब आप पोचा लगाए यू आर नॉट सेटलिंग द डर्ट इन साइड सो दैट सो देर इज अ डूल एडवांटेज देर सो अगर आपके पास वैक्यूम अवेलेबल नहीं है यू कैन सिंपली यूज अब माइक्रोफाइबर पैड दीज आर इजिली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इनके अंदर स्टेटिक चार्ज होता है इट्स नॉट अट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज जिससे डस्ट पार्टिकल एलर्जन दोनों अट्रैक्ट होते हैं तो जो स्मॉलर जो माइक्रोफाइबर के जो छोटे फाइबर्स होते हैं माइक्रो मीन्स वेरी स्मॉल सो माइक्रोफाइबर्स ये डीप पोर्स के अंदर फ्लोर के अंदर पोर्स के अंदर जाते हैं और ज्यादा इफेक्टिवली क्लीन करते हैं इफ यू लुक एट इटालियन मार्बल ऑल्सो यू विल फाइंड द पोर्स टू बी ओपन समटाइम्स आफ्टर फ्यू ईयर्स दे स्टार्ट टू ओपन अप देर बी जॉइंट देर बी क्रैक्स द कोटिंग विच इज डन द पॉलिश की जो आपकी कोटिंग आप उसके ऊपर टॉप पे करते हैं उसके अंदर दिस इज ऑल्सो केमिकल कोटिंग बाई द वे यू शुड ऑल्सो बी अवेयर एग्जैक्टली के मार्बल की कोटिंग के अंदर भी एक्जैक्टली क्या जाता है सो दैट यू कैन यू आर मोर इन्फॉर्म अबाउट के कोटिंग का इंडोर एयर पे क्या इम्पैक्ट है सो वैक्यूम आप चाहे मार्बल पे करें चाहे वुड पे करें चाहे आप कार्पेट पे करें किसी भी मटेरियल पे करते हैं वैक्यूम इज अ बेटर वे टू एक्चुअली टेक आउट सक आउट डस्ट नाउ बिल्डिंग डिजाइन वाइल डिजाइनिंग इट सेल्फ यू कुड यूज इट कुड इनकॉपरेट एट द डिजाइन स्टेज इट सेल्फ द स्टेटिक यूज ऑफ पोल्यूशन रिड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स नाउ आई एम नॉट रियली श्योर अबाउट द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ दिस बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ टॉक अबाउट एंड रिसर्च अबाउट दिस ऑन द इंटरनेट यू कुड स्पीक टू गाइज हु आर इन लैंडस्केप area they would be able to tell you more but there are definitely plants there which are which have been uh, which i know have been improving indoor air so you could use that as part of uh, design yeah we see that ankita snake plants i am really not sure about this but definitely you could use your own knowledge and you know more research on this one right now uh, another tip is that when we visit the sites now because of this coronavirus thing we all have one thing which is you know the masks in plenty at our homes now this is actually a very good idea to carry this forward a good quality mask particularly should be worn by the people who are actually working on the sites now as an interior designer as an architect as a project management consultant consultant or a site supervisor you know we all need as a vendor also we need to kind of be at sites uh, you know quite a lot of time and unfortunately when we are at the site that is the time when maximum of guessing is happening you know the airborne particles are more all kind of particles and then the vocs are like you know in their full display at that time so it is ideally a very good a situation would be very good if you are able to wear masks there particularly for people who are going to stay there and get the work done so now when the clients actually what happens is when the clients kind of you know move in at the site so us samay kuch off guessing ho chuki hoti hai however research shows that vocs jab nikal rahe hain ek cheez se they could simply cling on to other surfaces and then they are not so easily biodegradable they can remain there linger over there and continuously cause this pollution for many years to come that uh, can happen so it is always good that while you are specifying while you are buying at that time do a little bit of homework and buy something good so now uh like air conditioning you know during the design stage we could have air purifiers to be an integral part of the layout itself so if it is a vrv integrated uh, system that's very good if you're using uh, uh you know separate air conditioning like uh, uh, okay wall mount air conditioners hai, then air pur purifiers could also form part of your design itself so there is a dedicated place there and based on the area uh, a suitable air, uh, air purifier could be put over there and dedicated electrical outputs alongside with a designated space can be uh, there to give the most efficient you know efficiency wo space aap design kar sakte hain jahan pe maximum air purifier ki efficiency bhi aaye i do not see foresee the outdoor situation improving very fast very soon so i do think that air purifiers are going to be an integral part of our households in the future so agar design ke andar ye incorporate ho jaye to this is uh, uh, much better then indoor outdoor air circulation could should be scientifically evaluated automatic ventilation systems which are these are available now could be set up so that would take in you know comparatively fresher air from outside when it is in the cleanest state so an automatically system, uh, automatic ventilation system could set up in this way ke raat ke time jab least pollution hai you know it could be set up in that manner ke wo tab as an exhaust wo andar bahar ki hawa tab lega jab usko uh, cleanest milegi bahar आज की डेट में तो हमें आई मीन एयर इज कम्प्लीटली क्लीन बट दिस वुड नॉट हैपन ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम 
so you could look up uh, these automatic ventilation systems and then figure out what is the best way to incorporate them. Those guys should be able to definitely guide you on that one. Now, another uh, good news is that now building products are actually coming, which are infusing indoor air with desirable VOCs. I shared with you initially that there are good VOCs and bad VOCs. So now there are new materials that are actually in good VOCs ko actually air hawa mein dalte so this is a great uh, innovation in fact we are going to be launching a wood flooring very soon in the next few months uh, where you will see uh, this product so this product is now proven to improve indoor air so that's a very big plus so i'm i do know that you know a lot of research is going on in this area by other manufacturers uh, in other product categories also so just keep yourself informed improve so, you know, that'll be like wonderful. So all going so far good. Any questions? Yes, Jitendraji, we can place filters in the ducting. That's that's great. Thank you. So we are about to finish soon. I'm just going to give you now alternate materials. So, so as we saw that PVC is polyvinyl chloride, not good. So PVC piping, uh, well, uh, uh, I want to clarify one thing. When I say PVC piping or PVC per se, you have to go a little bit more into detail. There are specific compounds in that like phthalates, you know, that is something which is not good. And when PVC is like burnt or something that dioxins come, these dioxins are extremely bad. So you have to actually go a little bit into more detail about your PVC to actually a certain case. You know, uh, it is now less uh, harmful. So you have to evaluate that. But anyway, uh, PVC piping for portable water can easily be swapped with copper, PEX or polypropylene. This is happening nowadays in construction. I see that. And then there are even less expensive alternatives for non-portable water piping. So the water is not water, there are other non-expensive or less expensive alternatives which are non-PVC based. Then we could go into low emission paints and uh, you know like mineral paints. This is something new. This is very good actually. You should explore that. Now there's another thing in paints uh, you need to be aware of. There are, there could be a paint which is low VOC paint. We are not interested in that. We are interested in a paint which emits low. So in the, there could be a paint just can there up my VOC come in like in bars other nickel. And there could be a paint just me up my VOC is other like in nickel tabar come in. I'm happy with that paint basically just the bar come in and clay. You know that's what I'm interested in. Then lead in portable water plumbing should be avoided where possible. Most brass fittings and valves do contain trace amounts of lead, but eliminating lead from flux and solder is low hanging fruit. But you can easily do it. Soldering ke liye baut sare <laughs> materials use hote hai, wiring hoti hai. Uh, flux is also used a material in welding and you know that time. So by doing a little bit of research, uh, keeping this in mind, simply asking ki ye chemical kya hai, ye kisse bana hai, it will give you a lot of data. So small changes can be immediately made. Uh, use of products which are like even green guard green you know seal carb compliant or such reputed third party certification uh is tarah ke aap laminate engineered floors that's one example aap ye use kar sakte then giving you uh, an example from uh, our wood flooring industry a lot of time engineered floors available hain jis mein tangan groove hota hai to isko jab hum lagate hain to niche plywood ke sath kai vendors aapko recommend karenge lagane ke liye बहुत कम वेंडर्स हैं जो फुली ग्लू डाउन करते हैं पूरा नीचे से ग्लू लगा के उसको चिपकाया जाए जैसे बार्बल चिपकाया जाता है बहुत कम लोग ऐसा करते हैं बट इन दोनों केसेस में यू कैन सी कि प्लाईवुड में भी बहुत सारा वीओसी है और नीचे बहुत सारी ग्लू अगर हम लगाते हैं तो बहुत सारा वीओसी है सो टंग एंड ग्रूव वाले जो प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जब आप लगाएं या आप यूज करें सो देन यू शुड डिस्कस विद योर वेंडर मोर इन डिटेल अबाउट आप इसको लगा कैसे रहे हो और इसका असर क्या होगा इन प्लेयर पे कई बार इन प्रोडक्ट्स को टंग एंड ग्रूव वालों को सिर्फ टंग के ऊपर ग्लू लगा के लगा देते हैं that from the viewpoint of VOCs is good, but from the view uh, from the viewpoint that कल को जब आप उसको लगाओगे तो उनके अंदर बीच में gaps आ सकते हैं तो आपका first सुंदर नहीं लगेगा अंदर मिट्टी फंसेगी so it's a so you have to evaluate personally I prefer uh, click system floors which are engineered floors also which are click system which are very very stable or in case you want to use a tongue and groove floor you can use a, a material called elastilon नीचे लगाने के लिए which is an underlay which is completely non VOC and still uh, can give you a wonderful adhesion uh, so that material is available uh, for use. Then uh, use of LEDs basically, which are actually much more uh, energy efficient. Wo change hoi chuka hai kafi tak, aur jo change rahe gaya hai, wo hoi raha hai. So CFL se zada LEDs better hai because mercury nahi hota uske 
सो दैट्स अनदर एस्पेक्ट दैट यू नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ कि अंदर की हवा के हिसाब से मकरी पॉइजनिंग इज नॉट गुड सो एल ईडीज है दैट अदर एडवांटेज सो क्विकली नाउ आई शेयर विद यू के टेक्निकल डेटा शीट्स के अंदर बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन होती है समटाइम्स दीज कंटेन्स वर्ड्स जो हम नॉर्मल वेकबरी में यूज नहीं करते and then we kind of simply avoid these things so avoidance is not going to help us we need to clarify what is in that uh, i can share you can take a picture of this slide if you want to uh, there is this link here you on this link there is a cost booklet it's called barriers to study you download this booklet in there you will find three barriers jo padhne mein jiski wajah se dikkat aati hai if you simply uh, go through those barriers it's very very simple booklet and it's extremely effective simply using that uh simply using that basically will help you uh understand all this technical jargon taki aap simply baat ko samajh paye all things in essence are simple i mean people sometimes make them unnecessary complex wo complex hai nahi so just use this uh, uh uh you know resource to this is a free of cost resource just download this book and you can use it by the way you can use it to help your children anybody who is studying this is fantastic um i will uh, share with you this link separately uh, later uh, you know i can just type it here quickly we are just about to finish so go to www.appliedscholastics.org/studytech study-tech give me a minute barriers barriers to study booklet dot html so here is the link you can take that down please so the last slide is a quick recap so certain chemicals can cause trouble there is a growing body of research to back this up the point is to not to get scared rather face the situation and do something about it under cost pressure demand from market for cheaper solutions so bar bar agar price ke upar you know baat aati hai to manufacturers traders everybody is forced to use you know solutions which can be you know cheaper and then if they are cheaper for example in case of they use cheaper chemicals or something they can be harmful so but mind you they may still be legal it is quite possible they are well within the legal limits however they can be nonetheless bad for example crops with pesticide pesticides you know they are legal but they are harmful so too much of focus on price 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 and not really giving due listening to the people who are selling it or understanding the whole thing ultimately creates an ecosystem which where which incentivizes people to actually disregard to log aisa bolte hain ki koi nahi sunta is baat ko aap product ko sasta karo koi nahi dekh raha you know that kind of thing then educating the market is the answer not succumbing to price pressures so i do totally understand that we have not chosen to take that route we've chosen to take the you know more difficult route which is you know we do need to take put in a lot of effort in educating our market answering the question why are your products comparatively more expensive so we have to spend a lot of time and energy in that but we prefer to do that because i would want ke mere sath bhi jo log business kare kaam kare meri life mein jo mujhe saman beche they should be honest and you know fair about this whole thing and i should be fully aware of what pros and cons are each product has so that the decision ke mujhe kya karna hai mujhe paise bachane hai mujhe yahan kharchne hai ya nahi kharchne hai wo decision mere pe aana chahiye cheeze chupai nahi honi chahiye so alternate healthier solutions are available look for third party certifications from reliable vendors as awareness and demand grows for healthier products prices will come down further that will happen so i would like to thank you all for taking this time out being here with me i have exceeded the time by 20 minutes thanks once again for taking uh, uh, you know bearing with me i just want to make sure that i share the data that we have i try to make it as concise as possible so you can connect with us on our youtube channel just go to youtube and you know search for span flows there are uh, some informative videos over there also we do keep trying to keep adding more uh, videos over there trying to make them more and more simple for you so that aapko bahut sari mehnat na karni pade aur easily aap isko samajh pae any comments any things uh, uh, are very welcome uh, please do send in your uh, success if you like this 
I, I, I really do see that. Uh, thank you so much for all the acknowledgement. If you could WhatsApp that also, we could use this, these your success stories to promote further and create an awareness in the market, try to do our best. Taki we create a situation where zada se zada log achche products ko demand kare aur cost sab logon ke liye kam jaye. Thank you so much and all the best. I do hope to see you again and get in connection with you sooner than later. All the best. Stay fit, stay well. Bye.